Okay, now we're ready to add the filling. Um, you can see that it's gotten a little more moist and the dry ingredients are sticking to the apples a little better, a little more. I do not scrimp on my apples. Another customer came in and told me a story of a bakery that made these great apple pies, became famous, and pretty soon he started using less apples and then less apples. and the pies went from being this nice, gorgeous, full pies to being kind of the, kind of flat and and um, just the success ruined his pies. They thought so. I've determined not to let success ruin my pies. If I try to cut corners by you know it takes a long time to hit, peel the apples and and it's kind of a pain when they're heaped up this high because it's hard to get the crust on. Now you should be able to pick up your crust. And again, I remember I said the harder the crust is to work with, the better it's going to be. So if it's falling apart on you, don't, don't fret. Texture and taste is more important than looks. So I don't futz too much with how mine look because I care more about texture and taste. So don't worry if you've got a little rip or a tear. Oh, oh, so you can see what I'm, I'm kind of folding the top edge over the bottom edge as I go around. And that's to prevent, as it's cooking, all of it from going out onto your oven. And then you can kind of press down. And some people, you know, you can use a fork. Um, some people get really fancy with their edges. But I'm just, for practical purposes, just pressing the top and bottom together to seal it a little bit. And inevitably, the moist, the juices come out and go on the bottom of your oven anyway. <laughs> but um, so I make, you know, some people do design on the top, but I make at least three good sized slits for the steam to come out. Now this is the final touch. Um, I know some people just use a milk wash, but um, uh, before I started making our own pies here, we got them from a local person and hers had this beautiful golden crust and her method was to um, use an egg wash, which is for one egg, uh, just a, about a teaspoon of cold water and whip it with your cold water. So I just do a little little splash of cold water and and you'll see I'm just going to lightly paint this on because again we we're, our goal was to not have a too much liquid in the crust so you're not actually trying to cover every inch but just kind of Lightly painting it on just to get achieve that golden effect. So you can see I didn't use very much at all. I just sort of put a little glisten on there, and then helps the sugar stick. I just sprinkle sugar on there. If you put the sugar on too heavily, it sort of burns as the crust cooks. So you just lightly sprinkle it on. So with any fruit pie, you get a lot of of the stuff as it cooks boiling over. Um, the way to tell your pie is almost done is is when the fruit starts boiling over. So you want that to happen, um, but you don't want to make a mess of the bottom of your oven. Um, these are sold in kitchen stores. Um, it allows, you can see it's got a little place for the liquid to pool, but it also allows the heat to cook the bottom of your pie. If you just put the pie directly onto a, onto a um, platter, in the oven, um, the bottom doesn't cook. So I really like this because I can fit a bunch of them in the oven at the same time. The bottom of my pie is gonna cook and the liquid's gonna go on there. I like to just use the two bottom shelves. And so I'm putting that in. Um, whether or not it's frozen, when I put it in, I cook it higher for the first 15 minutes, um, around 400. And 
um, then lower the temperature to 350 for the last hour or so. And I, um, but I only set the timer, so I set the timer first for 15 minutes and then for 50 minutes because I want to start checking it then. And sometimes I put it on, uh, put the timer on for another 10 after the 50. Sometimes I, two times I put it on 10. Um, but I keep checking it with my coffee stirrer to make sure the apples are soft enough. So here we go for the first 15, 400. Okay, so that's been 50 minutes. You can see the crust is nice and golden, but check the apples. And this pie was not frozen when I put it in, so those apples feel done to me. But you can see what a nice golden crust the, the egg wash makes. And that is your finished pie. Oh, it's a nice flaky crust. You know, even if I do everything the same every time, it comes out, it doesn't come out the same every time. Now, it's important for quality control here to eat a fair amount of pie myself. So I'll happily test this pie. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> yep.